Hey everyone, Nell here. Let's go ahead and get started. Today's practice is um, quite a quick flow where you may or may not want to grab something similar to a block or if you've got a block, that's even better, um, just to help with the balancing aspect of this. So when you're ready, just find a comfortable seat, child's pose on your back reclined, however you want. We're just spending a few breaths, just taking a moment to ground and connect with our practice. So in your seat or in whatever pose or position you have found yourself in, maybe you're still trying to link this up to sound or some kind of technical aspect. But it doesn't matter what you're doing, how you're approaching this. It's really just about finding a moment in stillness just to find a few breaths. A really simple process of welcoming in some intentional breath just helps set the scene, send some intention to the body you're about to move. Most importantly, just grounds and holds you into this space. Just take a few more of your deepest breaths here, really trying to pull in the breath as deep as you can. And as you exhale, clearing out every last little bit of breath. And when you come to the end of your next breath or the one after that, just slowly open your eyes, come back to this idea that we're about to get moving. So if you feel like being a shorter practice, you need to just really get into the body um, and warm up. Just simple things of waving the arms and things around are a really good way to start. Otherwise, let's come on to hands and knees. So find your four point pose. As always, act like a little cat until you find that position. And then when you're ready, start to move through your cat cow breath. So as you inhale, lift your tail, drop your belly, pull your heart forward. And as you exhale, tuck and round, press into your hands, lifting the back, dropping the head. Breathing in, continuing this movement. Inhale. And then exhale, pressing and rounding. And you can just continue this. Otherwise, I'm just going to add a little element to it. As you next inhale, think about lifting your tail, dropping your belly, pulling your heart forward, but also pointing your toes, lifting your heels towards your sit bones. And then as you exhale, Flex your feet, tuck your toes, brown the spine, but also float your knees about an inch off the earth. Inhale, drop the knees, lift the toes, pull your heart forward. Exhale, tuck the toes, float the knees, round the spine. Then coming back into your neutral position, untuck your toes, keep your hips above your knees, walk your hands forward. Let's find melting heart. Head can ground, it can float. The chest could even touch the earth. Taking just one more full breath here. And then just starting to come back up onto the hands. Make your way onto hands and knees. Feel free just to move your hips from side to side. Maybe move the shoulders. Any kind of natural movement here. And then when you're ready to tuck your toes, go ahead, take a big breath in, press into the hands, lift the tail, downward facing dog. And as you find your down dog, as always, moving around, bend knees, move hips, bend elbows, play around with the shape. And then from this position, we're going to find a lift of the right leg straight away. So as I mentioned, we're getting straight into it. So inhale, lifting the right leg. So to pull the knee towards your belly, and you can touch this foot down at any time, but let's step the right foot between the hands, drop your back knee. Come up onto your fingertips or use your blocks here as you just move back and forth into the hips. Now as you do this, see if you can flex your right foot. So when you come backwards, pull the toes up, and when you come forward, lean into the hips and pull your heart forward. Just do that a few times. And 
And when you're ready to find stillness, coming into that lunge, pressing into the foot, lift the hands up, spark the fingers, try to find height, maybe bring the gaze up. Take another big breath in. Then as you breathe out, leave your right hand up, but bring your left hand down onto the ground. Press into the left hand, open up into a twist. Take another full breath in here. And breath out, that right hand comes down. Coming onto the outside of your right foot. Press into the hands, tuck your back toes, just send it back down with facing dog. So keeping it quite simple right now. So just moving through the shapes. And when you're ready, start to lift your left leg up, find height. And then as you breathe out, start to bring it forward. Now, if you want to do that, coming through plank or whatever you can, but just taking the time to lift and press, step, drop your back knee. Move back and forth, come up onto the fingertips. And just remembering to move the hips downwards, pull those toes up, maybe lift the heart further forward, but just make this your own. Doing that but one or two more times. And then coming into that low lunge, pressing into that front foot, lift the hands up, finding that space to lift, push into the front foot. This time keep your left hand up, bring your right hand down to the ground and just turn this into a twist. So finding a little bit of height here through the fingertips. Take a big breath in and then breath out, bring it back to the earth. Ground both your hands, tuck your back toes, just lift it back, downward facing dog, pedal your feet, move your hips. And from here, bring your feet together at the back of your mat, get your big toes to touch, about an inch gap between your heels. And then from here, we're just going to walk the hands back towards the feet, coming up onto the balls of the feet, start to bend the knees and let them come out towards the side. See if you can let your sit bones drop to your heels. Your hands might want to stay a little further forward just for the balance or bring them a little closer. So we're up on the balls of the feet, the knees are out and the heart is open. Draw the shoulders back. If you feel really comfortable here, you might want to take one hand or two off the ground or just keeping your hands on the ground. And if your hands are on the ground, you can just push your knees out with your elbows. And take another full breath in. And breath out, start to walk your hands all the way back to the top of the mat. Stay on your tippy toes. Take your feet though hip distance though, it might feel a little better. And then walk your feet all the way to your hands. Once you get to your hands, see if you can stay on your tippy toes, lifting the heels. Pull the heart forward, take a big breath in, halfway lift. Drop the heels and find a fold here. So softening through the knees, just let your head hang. Take a couple of breaths, feel free to move. And then when you're ready, bend your knees, come up to standing, take the time you need to roll up, give yourself all the space you need here. Lift up, take a big breath in, drop your hands in towards your heart. Bring your feet to touch now, big toes compressed together, about an inch gap between your heels. Roll your shoulders back, let's lift up onto the balls of the feet. This is gonna feel a little challenging for the balance. Now keep your hands at your heart, or lift them towards the ceiling and start to bend your knees, hug them together. We're gonna to come down and drop the sit bones onto the heels. Now use your hands at any time. Take another full breath in. Then breath out, bring your arms down. We're grounding the right hand now. So this is a good opportunity to grab a block. Just out from the right foot. And as we do that, we're gonna lift the hips, drop the right heel, and then see if we can float that left leg back. Now you can start to turn the left toes out if you want to. Just try to find the balance though, the arms and the legs, don't worry too much. Just finding the balance on the right foot and the hand. Maybe coming into half moon. Take a big breath in here. And then as you breathe out, bring your left hand onto the inside of your right foot. So bend your right knee perhaps to let that happen. Ground your left hand, send the left foot back. Come into that low lunge, lift your right hand up towards the ceiling. Now take another full breath in here. And then right hand comes down, drop onto the inside of your back foot and see if you can windmill all the way up into a warrior two. So when you come up, you're gonna play around with straightening and uh, bending the knee. You just kind of move into the shape. I like to kind of almost do little dancing things here, but uh, 
I really appreciate that that's not everybody's jam. So just encourage the shoulders to relax. And then when you're ready, find height. As you breathe in, start to straighten your front leg, pick up those toes, grab hold of your right wrist. Now open that palm up and lean back a little. Take a big breath in. Tricky transition, start to bring that back heel in slightly. Hands come to heart, bend through the back leg, keeping that right foot flex. Look towards it as you drop into our little surface lunge. Take another full breath in. And then as you breathe out, start to lift the hips, rotate back towards the top of your mat, and roll onto the ball of your back foot, find crescent lunge. Take a big breath in, hands come to heart as we breathe out, lean towards the front leg, step your left foot to meet your right foot. Now from here, inhale, come all the way up to standing. As we exhale, bend the knees, bring the hands to the heart and lift the heels. Slowly start to come down, drop your sit bones onto the heels. From here, take a big breath in. And then as you breathe out, let your left hand come towards the ground in front of your left foot. Once again, grabbing your block. Now just trying to balance on the left foot and the left hand. So dropping the left heel as you lift the sit bones, right leg comes back, maybe the arm opens, maybe you just wanna keep it on your hip. Find whatever pose works for you. Just once again, just focus on the balance. Take a big breath in. Then slowly let your right hand come down onto the inside of your left foot. So feel free to bend your left leg, drop your right foot back, and then lift your left hand up all the way into a twist. Now push through your right hand, take a big breath in. And then a big movement, we're windmilling up into warrior two. So drop onto the inside of your back foot and then dance your body into it. So straight, bent, all of the movements here. And just try to find your kind of rhythm, your flow. And when you're ready, inhale, start to straighten. Lift up those front toes and hold on to your front hand. So pull the left hand back a little. Take a big breath in. Keep the left leg as it is. Hop the right heel in. Bend your right knee. Drop your hands to your heart. Surface lunge. Now push through that foot. Try to open your heart. Take another full breath in. And then when you're ready, transition back to the top of the mat, coming into that crescent lunge. So roll onto the ball of your back foot. Take your time. And then hands to heart, exhale, lean your heart forward. With bent knees, step the right foot to meet the left. From here, straighten everything up. Inhale, come up. And then this time, bring your hands into your heart and as you exhale, come into chair pose. Hands at heart though, bending the knees. Now making sure those big toes are pressed, about an inch gap between your heels. From here, reach your arms up, inhale. On the exhale, come staying in chair pose, but bring the hands towards the outsides of the hips, roll onto the balls of the feet. Stay on the balls of the feet, lifting up, inhale to stand. And then bringing hands to heart, bend the knees, drop your sit bones onto your heels. Keep your heels lifted if you can. From here, we're going to come into that half moon again. So right hand comes down, drop your right heel, float the left leg back, find half moon, inhale. And then exhale, drop the left hand down onto the inside of the right foot, come into that low lunge, right hand comes up, take a big breath in. Big breath out, rotate, windmill all the way up, find warrior two. From here, straighten everything up, pick up the front foot, hold on to your right hand, inhale. Then pull that back heel in, bend the back knee, surface lunge, exhale. Take a full breath down here. And then inhale, come all the way back to the top of the mat, crescent lunge, so flowing up. Hands at heart, lean forward, exhale. Step your left foot to meet your right foot, breath out. Inhale, this time sweep the arms up. Hands towards the outsides of the hips, roll onto the balls of the feet, exhale. Come up to standing, stay on the balls of the feet, big breath in. Exhale, hands come to heart, squat all the way down. Left hand comes down, drop your left heel, find half moon, right hand comes back. And just your modification of half moon. Come into that twist, right hand drops onto the inside of your left foot. When you're ready, inhale, left hand comes up. 
big windmill down, warrior two, w move up with a rhythm. Then inhale, lift the front toes, pull that hand back. Surfers lunge, pull the back heel in, bend the back knee, come down. Full breath here. And then inhale, rolling forward. Let's come back into that crescent lunge. Hands at heart, breath out, come forward, inhale, step the right foot forward. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, hands beside the hips, roll onto the balls of the feet. Inhale, come up to standing. Exhale, drop your sit bones towards your heels, hands to heart. Half moon. Right hand comes down, left arm and leg come up or open more. Find the twist, left hand comes onto the inside of the foot. Drop your back foot, right hand comes up, breath in. Big windmill open, warrior two. Straighten everything up, pull those toes up, right hand back. Surfers lunge, pull that back heel in. Full breath. Come forward, crescent lunge, inhale. Hands to heart, exhale. Heart forward, breath in. Left foot comes forward, breath out. Chair pose, inhale. Hands outside of hips, breath out, roll onto the balls of your feet. Inhale, come up. Start to squat down, see if you can keep your heels lifted. Use your hands at any time or drop your heels. Left hand comes down, left heel grounds. Half moon, your variation. Exhale, bend that knee, drop the right foot, drop the right hand, twist, left hand comes up. Warrior two, big breath out, come all the way up. Then inhale, start to straighten, lift up the front toes, pull back. Surfers lunge, back heel in, bend the back knee, come down. Full breath. Then inhale, come all the way forward, roll onto the ball of the back foot. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, come forward. When you're ready, finding just a fold here. Your feet can stay at hip distance uh, together or you can move them out to hip distance. Bend and pedal. And when you're ready, come up to standing. You can take as many breaths as you need here. Find a little bit of height. And then bring your hands in towards your heart. Now stay in the direction you're facing. I'm going to turn towards the camera, however. From here, finding a bit of balance into the left leg. Let's pick up the right knee. Ooh, find balance, it's a good tip. Lift up the right knee, flex the right foot, and then hold on to your right knee with your right hand. We're going to open up the left arm towards the side, and keeping that right foot flexed, open up the right knee. And if you want to challenge your balance, look over that hand. And if you want a little bit more, Interlace your peace fingers around your big toe of the right foot and extend that leg out. See if you can keep the balance. Take another full breath in. And then as you breathe out, letting go of that leg, but bring the right foot to land onto the outside of your left foot. And then bring your right hand down beside the body. Reach your left hand up and over. Now see if you can look down, really reach. Take another full breath in. And then breath out, left hand comes down. Right foot comes out, give your shoulders a roll. From here, inhale, hands up. Drop them into your heart on your exhale and shift the weight into your right foot. And as you do, pick up your left. Now find that dristy, that point of balance. The right arm will open this time, the left hand onto the knee. As you take maybe your gaze out to the right. That does change the balance a fair bit. For more, interlace your peace fingers around the left big toe and extend. Extend that leg. Try to find space across the front of the body. Push through that standing leg. Take another full breath in. And then with control, letting that leg go, drop it onto the outside of the right foot so your legs are crossed. Left hand now comes beside the body. Reach the right hand up and over. And you can even hold the leg just to get a little bit more leverage. Take another full breath in. And breath out, right hand comes down, left foot comes out, shoulders roll. I adjust my clothes and my little microphone because everything's kind of hanging out. And then from here, inhale, let's lift up and then start to find our forward fold once again. 
You can let your arms kind of dangle here. You can play around with any kind of rag doll or a bind of the toes. <laughs> I've got a serious mess happening with the microphone. And when you're ready, take another full breath in. And breathe out. Start to lift up through the back a little. It doesn't need to be a full halfway lift, but just enough so you can heel toe your feet together. From here, let the heels come out and start to roll up to standing once again. Give your shoulders a nice big roll. And bring your hands out to the side and up and then drop your hands into your heart as you roll on to the balls of your feet. Now we're gonna squat down, similar to what we've been doing, but we're gonna turn the knees out this time. So what, kind of like what we did out of downward facing dog. So the knees come out, the heels come together and we'll see if we can find that balance now. From here, try to lift the heart. Use your hands at any time. And if you want a little bit more, reach your arms towards the ceiling. Take another full breath in. And then as you breathe out, bring your hands back down. See if you can roll onto your heels and come on to your sit bones from here. Bring the heels of your feet together, knees out wide. Hold on to the knees, lengthen your heart, big breath in. And roll the spine back, leaning back here. Inhale, coming up. And then exhale, coming forward. So just letting your head come towards your feet. You can just hang up high or just let it come down. Let's just take a couple more full breaths. And you're welcome once again to stay here if this is feeling pretty good. You can hang out here for some time. And we're going to take you through bow and arrow pose. So once again, I'm going to rotate myself towards the camera. So from here, let's see if we can just lengthen out our legs and just find a forward fold to start. So nice, straightish legs, maybe a bend in the knees, lifting the arms up and then hinging forward, belly towards thighs. You can hold your feet, you can wrap around the backs of your knees. Just try to find a bit of resistance, whatever option you've come into, and then let your fold kind of happen here. And we'll just take one or two more breaths. And then from here, start to come up. And we might need to bend both knees. We're going to try to interlace our left piece fingers around our left big toe, as well as our right. But the left leg is going to stay as straight as we can keep it. So if it's straight and you can comfortably grab the toe, go ahead. Otherwise, just bend and pull it in. Then you can bend the right knee to start, but interlacing around the right big toe. From here, we're pushing into the sit bones, lifting the heart, and we're thinking of like a bow and arrow, pulling that right knee back, opening the heart towards the right hand side. Try not to scrunch your shoulders up, pull them down. And if you need a little bit more, you're welcome to extend that right leg out to the side. Try to pull those shoulders back. Take a big breath in. And then when you're ready, pulling the right knee in, let the right foot travel over the left leg. Just dropping it onto the left hand side, bring your right hand behind you, left hand comes up, bend at the elbow, bring the outside of the elbow onto the outside of that right knee. Look over your shoulder. And take another full breath. And then coming back to center, extending your right leg. Let's just come into that forward fold once again. So however you like to breathe up, or maybe you just wanna keep your hands beside you, Start to come forward. Holding on to the backs of the knees is always feels good. Just a breath or two here. And when you're ready, interlacing your big toes with your peace fingers. And once again, the right leg will be the straight one, the straighter one here. So bend whatever kind of bend you need in both legs. Let's start to pull the left leg back like a bow and arrow. So as we do, we want to push into the sit bones. We're opening up the heart, even if the foot needs to come down to allow us that space. And then from here, just pull back for more. Extend that leg out. Take another full breath in. And then pulling that leg in, take it over to the right hand side, as close to the right hip as you can. Left hand behind you, inhale, right hand comes up. Bend that elbow, bring it onto the outside of the knee, look over the shoulder. And 
and take another full breath in. And breath out, coming back to centre. Unravelling, maybe take the feet nice and wide, drop them from side to side. And then the next place we're going to come is onto our back. So from here, just rolling onto your back, hugging your knees in towards your belly, just moving side to side. Maybe a little happy baby pose here. When we're on our back at the end of a class, we often get all these little signals of what to do. So your body might have a plan, follow that plan. And then if time and space and your environment allows it for it, you can start to let your body relax here for Shavasana. And if you can be in Shavasana for you know, another 20 minutes, I would say go ahead with that because you know, why not? But if not, Maybe just do a few stretches, another twist, some more happy babies. Maybe an inversion is in your practice. Or maybe a more seated meditation uh, point or breath work will be useful for you. Whatever option you're in. I really hope uh, it's working for you. Please feel free to give us feedback anytime. It's been a pleasure taking you through this practice. Namaste.